Okay, everyone, welcome back to another Perfect English video on grammar. We have kind of made some improvements since the last video on the technical side of things. So I'm actually, this is the second time that I'll be shooting this video and I'm going to be re-recording it now to see if we can up the production quality. The video that we're doing is simple future tense. So let's take a look at what we got. All right, so we're gonna go over when you use simple future tense, how you use it, some examples of how to use it, and some practice questions. This is a pretty straightforward one, so I bet we can do this one a little bit quicker than some of our other ones in the past. So let's start with when you use it. This tense is basically used whenever you're talking about something that is happening in the future. When we say in the future, we're looking at words like tomorrow, next week, next month, later. Things that have not happened yet or before now, but are going to happen maybe soon or maybe sometime far off in the future. So the key words I have listed here, although there are many more, tomorrow, later, next time, in the future, this weekend, and so on. So let's talk about how you use it. We basically have two situations uh, that what we can look to, we have the will form and we have the be going to form. So let's talk about the will form because that's the easiest one. With the will form, all we do is we take our subject noun, for example, teacher Peter, and we add will before our verb. So teacher Peter will sing. Teacher Peter will dance. You will eat. I will play. They will watch TV. Okay. And that's it. That's the whole will form right there. It's incredibly easy. Next, we have the be going to form. Now, this one's a little bit trickier. We have a few more things that you have to look at and manage, but it is pretty easy once you practice. So let's take a look. We have the subject, the subject noun, teacher Peter, for example, and then we add the appropriate be verb. So sometimes the be verb can be something. Of, so for teacher Peter, it would be is. Teacher Peter is. And then I add going to before my verb. Teacher Peter is going to see the movie this weekend. You are going to watch TV tonight. You are going to feel tired later. You are going to read a book after you eat. All of those are examples of how we use the be going to form. So let's look at some examples. The dog will go get the ball if I throw it. Number two. We will go to the movie theater after school. Number three, my brother and I are going to eat at McDonald's. Number four, Tommy is going to go to the supermarket after school. So of these, we have the first two are will sentences. The dog will go, we will go, and we have the be going to below. My brother and I are going to eat. Tommy is going to go. Let's take a look at some practice questions and get a little bit more practice with this ourselves and talk about how we might answer these questions. So look at the first one. What will you do this weekend? What will you do? Whenever someone asks, what will you do? You can say, I will. That's the first thing you'll say. I will. And then the verb or the action that you're going to do. I will see my mom this weekend. I will go to the movie theater this weekend. I will read a book this weekend. Look at number two. Will you see the concert this weekend? So grammar in English is a little predictable. So we know, will you, will you? Yes, I will. Can you, can you? Yes, I can. Do you, do you? Yes, I do. So with will, it goes a little bit like this. Will you see the concert this weekend? Yes, I will see the concert this weekend or and this is the tricky part no I won't see the concert this weekend no I won't so we say yes I will or we say no I won't and won't is spelled w-o-n apostrophe t this is the same as will not next we have what are you going to do what are you going to do I am going to watch TV. I am going to relax. I am going to eat spicy noodles. Where is Christina going to go after school? 
So in this case, we have a where question. So that means our answer needs to have a place somewhere in there. So where is Christina going to go? She is going to go to the movie theater. She is going to go to Sogo. She is going to go to Taipei. She is going to go to um, her cram school. All of those are acceptable answers. Next one, we have two why questions. One of them is a why will, and the other one is a why be going to. So let's take a look. Why will she cry? So we have why, so that means typically our answer is going to have because. Why will she cry? She'll cry because she's sad. Why is she going to cry? She is going to cry because she's sad. All right. And that is it for this video. So good job if you managed to follow along. I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit more about simple future tense and we'll see you next time.